and ever since. This is the happiest day that I've had in a long time to see you and Joe have their 25th anniversary. Now, I don't know how you spell your last name yet, Joe. <laughs> Neither does he. Happy anniversary, you Ella and Joe. Here, Joe. No last name. Uh, you are a wonderful couple, and we wish you good health and good happiness. All I can say, Eleanor and Joe, this marriage would not have happened if you did not catch the bouquet at my Lauren's wedding, all right? Aren't you glad you were there at the wedding, Eleanor? Yep. Our friendship started in Union City. Eleanor and my family were, lived a block away. I became a Girl Scout leader and had about 20 teenage girls in my troop, but Eleanor was special. She was sweet, cute, kind and very, very shy. Very shy. shy. You all know that. I've never known shy, Eleanor. <laughs> never, never said a word, just said yes, 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 yes. Hi, hi, hi. She was just lovely. I loved her at first sight. Who couldn't love Eleanor? We became very good friends. As time went on, I married Rudy. Mr. Rudy over there, yeah. call him Rudy Kasuti. <laughs> or Tootie, Tootie Rudy. And guess who sat in the first pew at our wedding? Yes, Eleanor. Eleanor was there, it was 1957. She was so happy for us and we adored her. Then I had one, two, three daughters. Mamma Mia. <laughs> <laughs> Eleanor was still a very part of our lives. Then along came happy, jovial Kevin. <laughs> there he is. There he is. <laughs> Very different from Eleanor. No, I wasn't shy. He was, sweet. he was sweet and kind like his mom, but not so shy, a little more active and talkative, okay? <laughs> Kevin would come to my mom's house and uh, he and my daughter, Gina, loved to run around the house. They were teenage, well, they were about six, seven years old run around the terrace, like energized, what is it? The energizer bunny. Energizer bunny, that's it. <laughs> they were sort of rambunctious and drove us crazy, I must say that. My mom also loved Kevin, like her own grandchild. They could do anything in my mother's house. She didn't care. They'd make mishmash and all kinds of stuff. And she loved it. She really loved Kevin and all the kids that would come to my mother's house. She would cook all day. She'd start in the morning and then she'd end up around five o'clock at night. You came to her house and you'd walk in the door. She said, you want some spaghetti? <laughs> now she does that. All right. Now, uh, let me see. Oh, they were right. Then we moved to Avon, but never lost touch with Eleanor. Every time we had a party or a wedding, Eleanor was the first one on our list. We said, who to invite? Eleanor. 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 And it was Ele Eleanor and Joe, I'm sorry. I was going to say, what about Joe? Well, all right, first it was Eleanor. <laughs> then we have Joe now. We Eleanor love Eleanor plus one. All right. Okay, we love you too. I just can't spell your last name. <laughs> or pronounce it. Then Lauren married, and guess who came to her wedding and sat in the first pew again? <laughs> At the reception, Eleanor caught my daughter Lauren's bouquet. Okay? So that's how this happened. That's how this all happened. Happen, we were so excited for Eleanor and said, now find a nice young guy and get married. And she did. And she married you. Younger too. Young. <laughs> Years went by. Eleanor faced some adversities. But again, Eleanor never complained, has always been patient, kind, selfless attentive, proactive, and the list goes on and on. I could take out my dictionary because <laughs> really, Eleanor, you're wonderful. She has made such a positive influence in our lives and loved by everyone. She actually, I have five generations of my family. My Norna, my grandmother, my mother and father loved her. My husband, Rudy, loved her. My three daughters, Lauren, Gina, and Shari, also loved her. And now, do you believe it? My four grandchildren, she's one of them, love you, Eleanor. Whenever we write a list of who to come or who to talk to, it's always about you. Uh, let's see. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and now my children. They respect her. They love her the way I did when, way back when she was 12 years old. She will always be called my little Girl Scout. Through the years, she has put up with my idiosyncrasies and my 
paranoia <laughs> and my all my problems. Uh, don't know why you did that, Eleanor. <laughs> I think we love each other. She's the best friend anyone could ever have. And she will always be my beautiful little Girl Scout. We love you, Eleanor and Joe. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I don't usually kiss men. Yeah, okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. We get to know her in a while. I usually ride on toilet paper.